Looks like some sort of alchemical instrument. Just want to see the water coming into the top now. As the gas pressure builds in the bottom because of the heat, the liquid transfers itself to the top of the container. I can't see it very well, but there's actually a marker right there that says 8 cups. You can sort of see the water line going down. And I can definitely see the water coming in up here now. It's been about a minute since I started recording before. The reaction is uh, accelerating. I'm sure you can see that there. Anyways, the top is definitely filling as I'm watching it. Next comes the cool part where it starts to bubble. There's now currents in the actual coffee there. Can you see that? It's pretty cool, eh? Oh, here we go. That's not just the coolest thing you've seen in a while. And now this is where it's actually doing its parking. So I'm going to leave this for about a minute. Then I'll take it off the heat and you can see what happens then. Okay, so now, I think it should be pretty much done perking. Look down there, it's uh, just bubbling away. Coffee's just swishing around in there, and it's starting to smell really, really good. By the way, you see that layer of foam there? That's how you can tell it's freshly brewed, or rather freshly ground and roasted coffee. If it produces a layer of foam like that, it's fresh. Okay, so now we're going to take this thing off the heat and see what happens. Suddenly it realizes, hey, wait a minute, it's colder down there. Well, oh, it's done bubbling there. This part looks really cool when it starts happening. There we go. interesting because it seems to have a permanent filter that I don't have to change at all. Ooh, look at that, it's all foamy. Now it should do something really cool. And that is my new coffee maker.